Hi and welcome to our next video in the area series where we're looking at the area of a kite. So a kite is an interesting shape. Uh, it's a quadrilateral with straight sides and it basically has two pairs of equal adjacent sides. So you can actually see that um, these sides are adjacent, they're actually joining and they're equal and these two are joining and they're equal. Um, and we've, you can see the measurements that we've got here. We've actually been given the diagonals of the um, of the kite um, and they're represented by um, that lengthwise diagonal is x and the vertical is the y so basically the area of the kite is half times the product of the length of the diagonal so if we multiply the two diagonals we divide that by two so effectively we could also all have this as the area equals x y divided by two and I tend to like the divided by two formula. Um, that's what I like, but uh, you can do it whichever way you like. Um, but it, it comes out with the same answer. All right, so let's have a look at this uh, example here, find the area of this kite. So we've got a diagram there. We've got a kite there, and we've identified it's a kite. We've got um, nine meters diagonal uh, horizontal, and the vertical is six meters. So our area... Our formula equals x y divided by two. So our area equals nine times six divided by two. So our area equals well nine sixes are fifty four divided by two. So our area equals twenty seven, and it's meters meters squared. Now remember we always put the meters squared. So we've got diagram, formula, substitute, calculate. One of those four steps. All right, that's a kite. Thanks for watching that, and we'll see you in our next video.